Hello my friends and welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I have another live killer recommendation for you. Another live album that I think is just as good or just as important as the, uh, the most successful and the most popular live albums from these bands catalogues but also just a great musical experience. Really enjoyable listen. So today it wasn't going to be long. If you've been following the channel, then you would know by now that it wasn't going to be long before I had to mention the mighty Saxon. So I've gone on record to say a few times that Saxon are my favourite band. I think of all the bands, with all those great albums, Saxon are the band that I come back to the most. And they've also, for me, got the most number of albums that I really routinely listen to and really actually love. So... The Mighty Saxon with Eagles over Varken or Heavy Metal Thunder Live, whichever one you want to call it, rather lengthy uh, title there. This live album was recorded at the Mighty Varken Open Air Festival. I believe it was in 2009, this particular show. Yep, Varken Open Air 2009 Fans Choice Setlist, the full show. So although it was actually released in 2012, this is from the 2009 Barken Festival where fans had the option to vote for what tracks they wanted to feature in the set list. And I believe they tried to work it so that they played a song from each one of their albums right up from uh, the self-titled 1979 album right up into Into the Labyrinth, which at the time was their most recent album. So what I will say about the Mighty Saxon is having seen them five times, I believe, uh, live, they are an incredible live band. They absolutely deliver every time. Biff sounds fantastic live. All the guys sound brilliant. The musicianship is just top notch. They've got so much experience. Could we expect anything less? Of course not. They know exactly what they're doing. But they also have a classic live album in their catalogue, which should definitely have been a double album. Talking, of course, about The Eagle Has Landed, uh, recorded on the Strong Arm of the Law World Tour. A fantastic live album, an absolutely brilliant album, but should have been a double. But I think that this is just as good. And what is really nice here is that you get a career spanning set. And it's great. Everything right down to the uh, the kind of amusing um, crowd interaction between songs from Biff, right down to just the structure of the set list. It's just it's a great, great live album and it's a really enjoyable experience. So I'll go through uh, the set list here. I'll just pick out a few bits and pieces. They open the show up with Battalions of Steel from the, as mentioned, Into the Labyrinth album. Now that is a fantastic track. Much more of a power metal song, really, I think. And they were kind of experimenting with a lot of power metal sounds and styles uh, with their out last couple of albums and the Into the Labyrinth album. But it is a fantastic song, brilliant track, great riffs. There's sort of um, symphonic -y sort of keys in the background and things. It's just got a whole lot of power, but it's a great track really good way to open up the show then we've got the unbelievably unrelentingly heavy and fast let me feel your power from the uh, the inner sanctum album which is without a doubt the fastest and heaviest saxon album certainly without a shadow of doubt it's unrelentingly fast and that is a really good live performance of let me feel your power in fact i would say that the inner sanctum is actually more of a thrash album at times but of course it's saxon it's still heavy metal that was just a brilliant track really really well performed there number three we've got lionheart the title track from that album which is a beautiful track absolutely love that one so much power from biff's vocals the musicianship is great riffs are killer such a great soaring sing-along chorus absolutely love it it's one of my favorite tracks from uh certainly from that album but also 
on this set, whole set list. It's, it's such a good performance there. They take us all the way back to 1981 for Strong Arm of the Law. Brilliant classic track there. Then we've got a succession of a couple of killer title tracks again as we're working back through their catalogue with Killing Ground and The Mighty Metalhead. Absolutely love both of those tracks. They are heavy. Love the, the groove and the melody in that crushing riff of uh, Killing Ground and Metalhead. That is an absolute anthem. It's such a heavy moment, but it's a great song. Absolutely love that. Then they throw us another classic. We've got Wheels of Steel with that obligatory crowd band interaction there. Love that one. Then uh, we get some sterling renditions of Unleash the Beast. Heavy, very heavy song. One of my favourite uh, Saxon albums without doubt. Then we get Dogs of War. Again, another great heavy moment where Saxon actually notably started to get heavier after a few albums where they were a little bit, shall we say, more on the melodic side, a little bit lighter. But they do a great version there. Then we've got Rock and Roll Gypsy. And those tracks, those three tracks, they kind of flow into a bit of a medley. So they just sort of flow one into the next. But all three of those tracks, Unleash the Beast, Dogs of War, Rock and Roll Gypsy. They're great, absolutely brilliant versions. Rock the Nations, a classic, real crowd-pleasing classic there. Then we've got Motorcycle Man, that fantastic opening track from the Mighty Wheels of Steel album. Certainly, at that point, one of the fastest and just one of the best Saxon tracks. That's saying something. Forever Free, title track from that album, a brilliant song. That album followed um, after Solid Ball of Rock, which of course we, we get that title track there after Forever Free. But that Forever Free album, that was the turning point where Saxon started to get heavy. They just got heavier and heavier and heavier after that. Following those tracks, we've got Crusader, a crowd favourite, a fan favourite. It's a great epic of a track. Certainly not their heaviest tracks, but... It's a brilliant song and the crowd absolutely laps it up here. Power and the Glory, one of my favourite Saxon songs. Absolutely fantastically executed there. That is a heavy as hell song. Certainly when you consider that was 1983 that that album came out. Absolutely killer. Love it. Then we've got some more classics here because we've got Princess of the Night, that legendary opening track from Denim and Leather. Well, again, one of my other favourite Saxon songs. So well performed here. Heavy Metal Thunder. Love that song so much. The opening track from Strong Arm of the Law there. Brilliant, fast and furious track. Certainly gave everyone like Venom or Motorhead a run for their money at that time. Then we've got Live to Rock before some more classics here. 747 Strangers in the Night. I think it would be there would be a riot, there would be protests if Saxon didn't play that absolute classic live. Then, Stallions of the Highway. The turning point that saw Saxon go from just a hard rock band with a few sort of progressive elements into actually being a heavy metal band. Closing the track, closing the set list I should say, we've got the total track, Denim and Leather. A classic and a fan favourite of course. So overall, you've got 22 tracks. And it is a superb, superb set list, superb performance. Absolutely brilliant. I, I really do enjoy this one. It's, it's quite a long listen, yes, but you listen to the full concert and it does not disappoint. Musicianship is great. The whole production and the sound is great. There's a great thick guitar tone. It's a brilliant live album. It is a live killer. So are you familiar with this album? Have you heard this one? What are your thoughts and opinions on it? I'm very interested to hear. If you've never heard it, but you just love some good, fast and nasty heavy metal, then this is a live album that you absolutely need to hear. Give it a chance, you'll not regret it. Thank you very much for watching my friends. Live Killers, Saxon, Eagles over Varken, a classic live album. Thank you very much for watching my friends. Do feel free to like and subscribe and check back soon for more reviews and recommendations. Take care my friends, stay heavy.